Welcome to WISIS Forum 2018. I am delighted to be joined by Dr. Salma Abbasi. Dr. Salma Abbasi is the chairperson and chief executive officer of a social enterprise mm -hmm. called eWorldwide Group. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. So Salma, to start with, what can you tell us about eWorldwide Group? Okay, we are an international company. We work out of Dubai and primarily work with governments in developing countries to meet development goals, previously the MDGs and now the SDGs. And I understand you have been doing a lot of work to include mm. more women in STEM. Yes, absolutely. From schools to elderly women to get them engaged with technology. And actually, one of the biggest challenges we find is the lack of awareness. So the, the second you start showing people the benefit and the relevance, people want to get engaged with STEM. And parents see that there is a future in this for their children. So tell us about your work with WISIS stakeholders. How do you collaborate with other organizations or government oh. to achieve those goals? Uh, it's a big challenge to actually draw together the right stakeholders who can all see. Uh, the word I'm using nowadays is skin in the game. Um, and private sector is, is one key player because they have funds and they have the mission and the efficiency to drive to a goal and a target, whereas governments tend to be a little bit more sluggish. So I find that collaboration is a win-win is a scenario to move things forwards. I've been working or coming to VISIS for over 10 years. Um, I want to say 18, but not 18 quite, uh, for over 13 years. And I feel that it's progressing and developing wonderfully. Every year there's something more that's happening. But there's obviously a lot more work to do. Yes, I think so. Um, I have. Uh, I have a few observations that I've made and I, I think every, every year improvements are made. But now I think as we move towards the SDGs, one of the key players that I think we need to bring to the table are two. One are youth, more youth to participate in panels and listen to their experiences and listen to their recommendations on specific SDGs because they will have innovative ideas which will actually be more uh, productive and engageable down into society for traction to get them involved. And the second part is private sector organizations that are not in STEM because STEM or technology is integrated in every sector. For example, a lot of talk is going on about economic empowerment of women at the grassroots using agriculture. So where are the tractor manufacturers? Where are the fertilizers? This, all the different ecosystem of agriculture. Those players need to come to the table because they all use technology. That way we can create sustainable models because they need the infrastructure. They will pay for the infrastructure. That gives us access and inclusion for the people. Dr. Salma Abbasi, thank you very much. You're very welcome.